It's not bad to be outside. The fresh air makes me feel good. All right, well, that's one of the bounty hunters. Fight! The matter. Did the dragon just help kill him? I think so. Hi, Torseal. Uh, hopefully now we can talk. Now I can. Torseal, I have to talk to you. Dragonborn. There we go. Finally. This Thalmor banned me and have bound me to this place. Vien, Gron, Capran, I am not able to flee. Our fight ends before it starts. Perhaps we can avoid a fight. Isn't there another way to solve this? Destinok. My death is unavoidable. And you know this. As I absorbed Kataria's soul, I was out of Sithis's hands. That was the side effect. Thus Sithis did not expect. You do not need to fear me. And now, Talk to Ambriel. It is time for my end. Set me free. The funny thing about Skyrim and just trying to do Skyrim conversations with dragons, um, and it's the same thing you come across in just vanilla when you talk to any dragon. It just feels like they're cross-eyed because of how wide their face is, so they're, they can't like look at you. It just looks like they're kind of cross-eyed. That's how it should be. I hope you will find peace. Dieu Ablon, as Duriem. By thy mercy, the death will bring the peace I haven't had in life. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna save here just to be safe, because this is a very important decision. I was gonna say, do I tell her the truth or not? Isn't it a bit dangerous for a chatter in this place? Ambriel, I have to talk to you about the situation. Yes, I thought that a dragon would try to kill us, but what does that mean? He absorbed my mother's soul? You will have to explain that to me. The situation is more difficult than I told you. Tell the truth, or... Don't let Torsiel play mind games with you. Lie. I feel like we're already on the path of telling her the truth. I told her the truth before about the bounty hunters and everything and me being recruited as a bounty hunter. I'm going to tell her the truth now. Honesty is the best policy. That's what I'm sticking with. Why? Tell me what is going on here. If you kill Torsiel, the soul of your mother will be lost forever. No, no. We have to save her. I couldn't prevent her death, but I will not allow her soul to vanish. There must be another way. I'm sorry. We have no choice. We cannot separate them. So, if I try to save her soul and spare Torsa, Sithis will win and our world will be destroyed? I'm glad you told me the truth. And I know what I have to do now. Mother, forgive me. I think she would understand. I think she'll understand. Man, the dragon didn't even give me a soul. This was a courageous decision and brave. My soul was free, and then it had more power of me. Thank you. Now I can rest in peace. Andrea, take this gift and fulfill your destiny. May it help us protect you. She gets the dragon soul. Gotcha. Oh, quite chilly, is it not? Me, right? What? Uh, hey! What? Don't scare me like that. What? Mother. No. No. She is gone. Forever. 
And I had so many questions. My greatest desire has always been to be able to talk to her again. And now, even her soul is gone. There really is nothing left of her. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. In all the centuries, I have had a lot of sad, but also a lot of nice experiences. But I must accept my fate. Lord Nerefin will pay for this, and he will regret his covenant with Sithis. I'm glad that you've told me the truth. You trusted me to make the right decision. I promised to support you, and my confidence was justified. Confidence? Or perhaps there's something more? We haven't had much time for personal thoughts and feelings, but I have got a strong feeling about a special bond to you. D don't think this the wrong way. Not immediately. But we will see what the time will bring. All you've done is yell at me. All you have ever done is yell at me and complain about me. Is that your form of love and affection? You know, we always... We're not we. I very rarely go through with romance in some of these mods, as many of you have noticed. We didn't with Rigmore because it felt out of place. Um, I didn't in Mirai because... No thanks. 17, I'm good. Ambriel? Okay. We're gonna go for it. I also tried to go for it in the Shire, and the Shire said, No, no, no love for you. We're gonna see where it goes in Ambriel. I admit I feel the same way. I think we should continue our way and see what happens. Oh, um, I'm speechless. In the recent centuries, I have not conducted such talks. But let us talk later. At the moment, we should decide where to continue our fight against Nerefin and Sithis. We should visit the Temple of Talos again, or go see Sancturia. Let's go then. Before we do any of that, we are going to, uh... We're gonna find this weapon that the Thalmor are after. You know what would have been... Kind of a funny homage? Instead of Gods and Demons, if it was called Gods and Daedra. Or Divine and Daedra. But maybe that would have been too... Far removed from gods and demons. Still, just a... It's not even a complaint. It's just something that I'm like, Huh. That could have been funny. Alright. Boulderfall Cave. You know what? We're gonna walk there. We're just gonna walk. Oh, oh. See the cave? Bandits, bears, and spiders. Many dubious surprises await. So I was under the impression that I just wasn't using I'm almost out of arrows. Um, we should get some new projectiles soon. <laughs> anything along the lines of CBBE, UMP, or anything. And I don't have any of those mods installed, but I guess the mod I guess comes bundled with it. Attention, honey. What? You just call me honey? We're not at that point yet. We said let's see how things go. Time to do or die. I did um Request her not to use her saber cat in combat anymore. Just because, you know, just make it a little bit more fair for all of our enemies. Ariel's sword does 25 points of damage, does 25 points of magic of damage. If the target dies within 3 seconds, fills a soul gem. I like stuff like this. I like this. It is a timed quest. Uh... It is a way to raise her disposition. It is optional, but it's a cool little thing. I have no weapons at the moment. Remember that if we are in trouble. I should want to give you this sword. I think that was the whole point of us getting this, was that I could give you this sword. Not so that I could immediately use it. Yes? Um, I'd like to trade with you. Even more stuff to haul around? I have given you nothing except for some food. I guess her other armor's gone now. Maybe when, um... Maybe when her whole outfit changed, it got rid of everything else in her inventory? Any thoughts? With all the risks you take so lightly, it's dangerous to be in love with the Dragonborn. I feel like we're not supposed to be I at that point yet. love you. And I can't bear the thought of something happening to you. 
I know it's acting and everything, and it's not even directed at me. It's just kind of funny because I've met Genie in real life. So, hearing this, it's like a funny sort of thing of like, oh, hi, Genie. Uh, the car's outside. It is worth all risk if I can help to protect. Uh, if I can help to protect Tamriel, I'm more worried about your safety. Do you understand me? Of course, but this is my fate, the fate of all Dragonborns. Our fates are a little bit different. You don't need to fear death as I do. Stop mocking me. I do love you and do fear for you. But I hate the fact that all evil of the world seems to follow us, lurking on an occasion. Like all those bounty hunters we have to keep killing here and there. If you hate it so much, why are you still here? Oh man, we're fighting now. Perhaps that will be the best solution. I should follow on my own way. Angry. I don't know why I... <laughs> Devolved into that voice. Please understand me, you're immortal, and one day I will be dead, leaving you alone. We're making this real depressing. I will stand beside you and cherish the time we have. I never felt like this before. I don't know how to pour out my feelings for you. Don't think about it. Just let it happen. So then, my lord, let me show you my love and what I feel for you. No, keep your clothes on. Lay with me tonight and every night. Be mine, and only mine, and I will be forever yours. Keep your clothes on. Alright. It's also no more awkward than any... See you. Any mod, any game where there is a romance and it's voice acted. It's just the thing of I was overthinking it, or I was thinking about it more because of the fact that I've met, you know, the voice actress in question. I did meet... Courtney hey. Taylor, though. She must have been in some game where there was a romance option. I met her at E3 a couple years ago, right after Fallout 4 came out. Yeah, I'm sure there's something. Uh, I'm sure there's something out there. With her that there's been a romance that I've probably done. She has a large range in regards to uh, voice work, so... Is the thing is sometimes voice actresses like her, Jennifer Hale, some of the bigger name voice actresses, you don't necessarily recognize them immediately in some of their work. Do you want to attention, honey? <laughs> I don't know if those lines are triggering um sooner than they're supposed to, because she did say it's like, hey, we'll talk about this later. And I said, okay. Alfred and now I'm getting uh was a true hero I'm getting Scott. the H word. He stood up to the the Stormcloaks are gone, but Talos will never be forgotten. No, he won't. I don't won't. care what the Thalmor say. He won't be forgotten. He, uh, is sometimes in this temple. That would be the funny thing of... If Talos just hung out in here all the time, didn't just appear at midnight, someone walks into the temple and they just go, Oh. Hi. And he just kind of waves to them a little bit, and they just kind of leave because they're a little scared. I thought I'd stay alone forever. And now, we share our lives. Nobody's here. <sighs> I've hoped that we'd find help here. Perhaps we should look around a bit. Maybe Talos is playing hide or seek with us. He's catching up on lost time with his, uh, great, 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 great. Not even granddaughter. No, I just realized, no, technically you're not even descended from him. It's, it's a long thing. I'll get into it later. You're right. We shouldn't give up hope. I'll get into it. I could offer my help. Oh, what the fuck? But I do not know if that would be enough. Dovahkiin, Umbriel, do not be afraid. Um, hey, Tiber Septum. Not even Ta Talos anymore. Oh. Oh, I'm concerned. Uh, but yeah, to make long story short, Martin Septum, Uriel Septum, most of the Septums that we have seen or heard of are not descended from Tiber Septum because his line of descendants was killed off pretty early on into the Empire. I want to say like three or four generations in. It was, um, the rest of the Septims were descended from, like, his sister or something like that. Talos, what are you doing here? Something seems to be wrong. He doesn't have his magical glow anymore. He's losing his powers. You are right. The time has come. I'm human again. Tiber Septim. Talos has ceased to exist. I'm all that remains. 
but even in this form of existence, I can still help you. The threat of a new war between the Empire and the Dominion has increased. The Imperial Senate has heard about Ombriel and the prophecy. You mean the Elder Council? The Senate wants to talk to Ombriel, and after that, the members will decide whether a war is to be conducted or if the Empire will surrender unconditionally without risking further bloodshed. Both options are not desirable. We must defeat Sithis and Narifin before it gets that far. You know, just casually defeat Sithis. I agree with you. It is necessary to convince the Senate Elder not Council. to act hastily. You have to talk to the Senators immediately. Counselors. But it would take days to reach the Imperial City in Cyrodiil. Don't worry. Not all of my magical power is gone. I will teleport us directly to the Senate. Elder Council. Here we go. Is it going to be an actual recreation of... Hmm? Oh, okay. Yeah, this will do. This this is close enough. This will do. Yes, I'm happy Dragonborn. with this. We're going to save real quick. I'm waiting. Oh, Hello, you're waiting? I'm sorry. Stay sharp. <laughs> Chancellor. Oh. All right. Chancellor Palette Pain Palpatine To truly live is the rarest thing in the is world. Is that where we're going with this? Most people just exist. That is all. I like your I like your loafers. Hello, my lord. I think we need to talk about the latest developments. I am Chancellor Palette Pine, and I welcome you to Cyrodiil. Uh -huh. The legendary dragonborn. Finally. And Princess Ambriel? I'm I glad you're here. Potions anymore. And I but suppose I this stranger is an ally? Otherwise, I have to arrest him if he is an enemy of the Empire. Excuse me. I assure this man is not an em enemy neither of the Empire nor of the humans. I will trust your judgment. The political situation is... Complicated. No have potions for the Dominion has severed all Could diplomatic relations. The last demand was that the Empire declares itself to a protectorate of the Dominion. Troops of the Dominion form an invading army in the north of Valenwood, and their fleet has been sighted at the coast of Anvil. The truth is that it is not possible for us to defend ourselves. There would be a massacre if we successful. force our few soldiers to fight. You have removed a heavy burden from Skyrim. <laughs> She's still just talking about stuff in the background. Uh, that's the thing, they did have chancellors on the Elder Council. They were called chancellors. I don't think they were senators, though. I guess things could have changed since uh, Oblivion, but I'm not sure. I think it is possible to avoid a new. Just wait and please be patient. The Senate heard about the prophecy. We are unsure whether this is a fairy tale or truth. We need a proof. The Dominion has created a new military camp in Skyrim. If you survive an attack onto the outpost, we will consider to believe the prophecy. Your survival is ensured only if the prophecy is true. Of. Um. All right. Yeah, we're just attacking the Thalmor now. I mean, I'll do it. I'm just surprised that the Empire is like, yeah, just go, go kill them. Whatever. If that is the only way to save the Empire, we will execute the order. I will show you the exact location of the outpost on your map. But beware. So your Lord Narifin personally control. supervises the impressed. construction of the camp. But don't abuse your powers. You and now go. May the divines be with you. I feel like I need to get a lightsaber mod for this, and I just gotta start getting some, uh, some Jedi robes and everything, Hello, too. My lord. Hello, Ambriel. You got up. <sighs> hmm? It is a great risk, but I think we have no choice, even, we have even if we encounter Narafin. You and Ambriel must survive the attack. I will provide a distraction for Lord Narafin. No matter what happens, you must not help me, 
or attempt to attack Narafin. Once the camp is cleared, you have to leave immediately. But first, I will bring us back to Skyrim. I'm going to make a, um, a qu quick guess about what's going to happen. Tiber Septim, as an old man, in his robes, is giving me an Obi-Wan Kenobi vibe. This music is giving me a Star Wars vibe. Just in hello, general. Hello, my lord. Hello, hello, Ambriel. I have the strangest suspicion that when he says, don't attack Narafin, don't interrupt, he's going to fight Narafin. Narafin is going to kill Tiber Septim, without being charming. which I'm concerned to see what that means for us. His robes are going to fall to the ground. His robe and his sword are going to fall to the ground, and that'll be all that's left of him. Ambriel's going to shout out, No! But then he'll be one with Magicka, or something to that extent. Oh, son of a bitch, there's Lord Narafin. Well, that's my mistake for attacking him already. Did he just shout me? Um... Don't attack him, but he's also going to be right at the start of the outpost. So now I might need to reload a save, because that was not supposed to happen. Are you just a hunter? Who's- oh, this is one of the bounty hunters. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe I just need to kill the Thalmor first. Oh, here we go. Stop. <laughs> it's finally time to tell Ambriel the truth about her mother <laughs> and her death. I swear to God, if Lord Narafin says, no, I am her mother, I'm just, I'm done. And I'm just going to end the video here and I'm going to go sit down somewhere else. Narafin, there's no reason to listen or to believe you. And I don't want to exit the conversation unless I know it's going to restart properly. Because right now we're just staring at Ambriel, who's standing right here. Oh, really? <laughs> as far as I can see, we have a falling god in our midst. Tiber Septim, delight us with the truth. Or shall I do that for you? Hmm, no answer. So I will give you some new insights about your unblemished and flawless god, Talos. Five hundred years ago, a real drama happened, and Talos was the perpetrator. I don't fear the truth, even if I'm not proud of what happened. You won't fool me, Nerefin. My brother told me everything. She was killed by several assassins, probably sent from the Dark Brotherhood. Did you say brother? And behind it all, I suspected the Thalmor. During the many centuries, I got hints that a Thalmor lord murdered my brother. Okay, brother. But now, I have a strong feeling that you, Lord Nerefin, are that Thalmor lord. You are right, Amri. I eliminated Cassiander because he was useless. When he became Emperor, he was in poor health, and he knew he would die soon. And that was the reason for his treachery, and why Talos caused the death of your mother. Cassiander was your twin brother, but the prophecy said you would become Empress one day, supported by your mother, protected by Talus, and immortal. He conspired with the Dominion and the Falmer Overlord to change the prophecy for his benefit. But for that, he had to kill his own mother. That cannot be true! You are a liar! Talos protected our family. It's not possible. He can't have caused the death of my mother. And Cassinder was a man of honor. 
He was a member of the Blades, and sworn to protect my mother. But on that unholy day, Talos himself killed Katria before Cassiander could strike. Therefore, Cassiander's plan had failed, and the prophecy remained unchanged. If Cassander were here, he can clear up and disprove these lies. But, as you said, you killed him. So that's not possible. No, Ambria. No. <laughs> I didn't say I killed him. Oh, no. I eliminated him. Oh, no. Where are we going? Shortly before he died, Cassiander Septum. Oh, was God damn it. By Sivus powers. God damn it. And so he became immortal and the most powerful of all Thalma lords. Yep, it's him. Yes. God damn it. I am your brother. Oh my god. No. No. That cannot be. That's not true. If she loses her hand. You know it to be true. Look into yourself. Search your emotions. This is just plagiarism at this point, Alice. After Dallas. our fight at the abandoned prison, you have been possessed by a part of my soul. So you can feel what I feel. Come with me, Ambriel. Together, we could rule Tamriel. Unify the Emperor and Dominion and end this conflict. That is your real destiny. Our mother would have wanted that. It is right that I caused the death of your mother. Although you wanted to kill her, she wanted to protect you, Cassander. She suddenly jumped in front of you, and my magical attack hit her instead of you. Oh. A tragedy. But I wanted to ensure that the prophecy was fulfilled. The former god confessed his crime, and now you will be judged for your deeds. Tiber Septum. You can kill me now, Cassander. No, no, here Tiber we go. Septum will die, but Talos will remain unforgotten. I called it. You were a good person before Sithis poisoned your soul. There is still something good left in you. As such, Sithis is not able to completely control you. Yep. And now, bring it to an end. <laughs> he just touched the mask. I must obey. I cannot go back. I like it we don't do anything about it. Die now. <sighs> you lost Dragonborn. Talos is gone. Tiber Septum is finally dead. All inhabitants of Tamriel will die soon. I don't. It is pointless to resist. My master will dominate. Amril and the Empire will be destroyed. Amril just talking about Alduin being dead over here. Give up now and go, and you will stay alive. <sighs> All right. No, Narvin, it is not over. I do not think you'll kill Ambriel and me. You are a fool if you think I would betray Sifus. He's gonna... I don't know. Maybe I made a mistake at the time. I could not accept Keep the prophecy open. and Danger my death. death I was young and jealous because of Ambriel's future. Talos thought there was still a good side in you. Come with us. Help your sister. For me, it is too late for that now. Sifus is waiting. There is no other way for me. The Aldmeri Overlord will accept the surrender of the Empire shortly. I have to go now. Take my sister and flee as far as you can. Wait. Maybe 
you will survive the end of this world. Why is he sparing us again? Also, let me let me guess. There's nothing left of him. No, not even his robes. You know what? I I, I was wrong then. All right, I'll I'll fess up. I didn't uh, yes, get that completely. Huh? I didn't get that completely right. Draugr. Ugh. the stench is terrible. She feel, you feel uncomfortable about that? We just watched Talos die, and you just learned your brother is a big fat douchebag. That must have been a shock for you. Your brother has betrayed you. He betrayed me? He conspired with Sidis and the Daedra. He wanted to kill our mother. Shall I go on? Yes, it's shocking when you learn that everything was a lie. Sorry, I... I have to calm down. What do you think of Lord Nerefin's last words? I don't know. We lost Tiber Septim and Talos. This could be the end. No! No! I can't believe that! We won't give up! We've achieved too much to stop now! Let's move on and see what Sithis is doing next. Until then, we should travel through Skyrim and provide help where help is needed. You're right, two Dragon Wars must be enough to stop Sithis. I think we are approaching the end of our fight. And no matter how it ends, just know that I am grateful that you came with me when we met the first time. That was the best thing that happened to me in 500 years. <sighs> okay, let us go. Skyrim is waiting. Alright. Did that update the quest, or...? Okay, travel through Skyrim and look out for new information. I feel like the word information has been used a lot. That's a very minor nitpick. I feel like every other sentence has the word yes, information in it. The only thing I can think is if we go back to Winterhold and talk to Sancturia again, maybe that'll help. Maybe that's where we need to go.